today's video, we're looking at a brand new power station from a company I've never reviewed before. This is the Ironergy Flex 1500, and this one is a completely modular system, but it's different than others because it doesn't use any cords to connect these modules together. They go together kind of like Legos, and the best part is you can buy as much or as little power as you want. And while this design is really cool, none of these power stations are perfect, so we're going to take a look at this unit in detail and identify some of the pros and cons. If you buy a Flex 1500, this is what you'll receive. You get one main kind of head unit along with a battery module. The Flex 1500 power unit can put out 1500 running watts of power and it can surge up to 3000 watts. And a single battery module is capable of 1000 watt hours. Now that number is pretty even, so it's easy to remember that you can get 1000 watt hours out of each one of those battery modules. You can put up to five of those battery modules in a single stack. And you can also connect multiple stacks together, and the manufacturer tells me you can go up to 96 modules in a single system. Another really standout feature is that the only manufacturer on the market that offers EMP protection. Now if you don't know what this is, it stands for Electromagnetic Pulse. Now this is what could happen if we have a nuclear war, and if you're not a prepper this might not interest you, but it's definitely something to consider if you want to be prepared for anything. The Flex 1500 isn't going to win on the bells and whistles category, but it does have USB-C ports along with standard USB-A and two small DC charging ports. On the opposite side, you've got two marine grade 12 volt cigarette style plugs, and these are both fully regulated. What really sets this thing apart is how compact this unit is. The modules are only about 14 inches by eight inches across, and they're each about six inches tall. Now the battery systems on the market today are expandable, but you're usually going to see marketing photos like this. This Blue Eddy can be expanded with extra batteries, but of course they don't show any of the cables. And when you look at how large those cables are, they really change the entire footprint. That's going to make this thing a lot hotter in a really small space. With this Flex 1500, they don't have any cables at all. You just set the modules on top of one another, and these built-in Molex plugs automatically align, and then you lock the entire thing in place by flipping these latches. When you put the stack together, everything is integrated, so things like charging and discharging are all handled automatically. With these flex battery modules, you can recharge them independently by putting the charger right in the built-in port. But most of the time, you're going to use this heavy-duty EC8 connector, and this is right on the power module itself. And this is going to automatically charge any batteries in the stack. And a modular design like this can be a lot more valuable than you think. If you ever need to send it in for service, you don't have to send the entire system in. You can just take the piece you need, mail it in, in a regular box because these things all weigh under 30 pounds. The build quality of this system is very different. The entire case is made of aluminum. You've got stainless steel power buttons. They click when you press them and they're even illuminated. In front, you've got six AC outlets and to turn them on, you just hit the AC power button and now you can use up to 1500 running watts from any of those outlets. Now keep in mind the outlets are not 1500 watts each, that's a combined output. I wanted to start off with an easy test so I plugged in my electric heater. Now this one uses just under 1400 watts and the Energy 1500 had no problems at all running it. But I also wanted to point out the display. It's simple looking but it is a smart display. It's going to show you the exact amount of power going in and out and it will estimate the runtime. Now when you're recharging the system, that display is going to do the reverse. It's going to give you an idea of how long it's going to take to recharge it to 100%. Another common question I get is, can you be recharging the unit while you're using power? Now this is going to be critical if you're living off this thing during the day. You might have solar panels feeding power in, and you want to be able to power stuff at the same time. And you can be using power while you're recharging the batteries at the same time. You can recharge the Flex 1500 in a couple of different ways. The simplest is to plug it into the standard AC adapter, and you can recharge the unit with a single battery in about five and a half hours. But if you want to use solar power, you can plug up to 400 watts of solar input, and for some people that's just not going to be enough, so they do make a solar supercharger and that actually connects as another module and that will give you up to 800 watts of additional solar input, bringing it to a full 1200 watts. Currently the iEnergy does not offer an app, but this little cutout on the top of the case is actually a place that they can add a module, so they tell me they're going to be coming up with something for Wi-Fi or to add an app down the road. I ran a series of tests on the USB ports to make sure they were putting out their full 60 watts of power if you're going to use the USB-C. But then it was time to check out the AC ports. And the test results confirmed that all of the AC outlets are putting out pure sine wave power, so you can use this thing for any type of tools or even things like sensitive electronics. But the bigger tests were around the voltage, the frequency, and those passed just fine. But then there was this VTHD. That stands for Voltage Total Harmonic Distortion, and that's a measurement of the deviation of the voltage output from the inverter. Under load, this one measured just over 3%. Now that's still cleaner than what you get from your house power, but it is one of the higher readings that I've gotten from any of the power stations I've tested. 
Some other pros for this system is this company is based in the US, and while the products themselves are made in China, many people will like the fact they can get support locally. Other considerations are the batteries inside the unit are regular lithium ion. Now for a stationary system like this, many people would prefer to get lithium iron phosphate because that will give you a longer life. But the benefit now is these batteries are going to be less expensive, they're lighter, and that's going to give you some advantages, but they said they are going to be coming out with lithium iron phosphate batteries in the future, and you could add them to the same system down the road. And keep in mind this thing is designed for rugged, reliable power. There's no app, there's no wireless charging, and I get a lot of comments from you guys saying that you don't even want those things, and you'd rather just have buttons and a clear display. So for those people, you're going to be very happy with this design because it's simple, straightforward, and everything is clear and easy to use. They also came up with their own design of a 100 watt solar panel. Now these are folding portables, but they're different because they're rigid with glass faces. So these are going to hold up really well if you want to kind of use them in a semi-permanent type of installation. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel with the bell on to make sure you know about any of my new videos as soon as they're released.